Good morning everyone. I'm Pastor Senyonjo Vamusbe from Vamusbe Church in Nansana. Uh, people of Vamusbe, thank you for all the support and all the people wherever you are. I have a certain group in UAE. Uh, you always uh, listen and then you enjoy this moment. I thank you so much wherever you are. People outside there in Arab countries, please, this is my concern. I get your messages, your prayer requests, and I'm so concerned on what you are going through. Yes, some of you are privileged that where you are, things are moving on well. But it is my concern that a big number is not being treated well. I always get your voice notes, and I'm so much touched on my heart uh, uh, on hearing what you are going through. My humble prayer is may God protect you that nothing bad will ever come to you. If any evil man or any evil woman tries to do anything bad to you, the Lord will protect you. And I pray that as you come out there to come back to Uganda, you'll come with a good luggage, a good blessing, so that your success will begin from there and forever. Today I want to share about a simple thing in a broad mind of... Uh, of bondage coming out of bondage i've had many people asking me about what is what is it <clears throat> we hear people saying come out of bondage come out of bondage uh, in luganda we call it obsibe and when they hear obsibe they say is it a prison aha uh -huh. what is this thing exactly when the lord called me in the year 2007 i was so inquisitive to know what my mandate was and all that time, I have been using my third eye, my understanding, my spiritual understanding to really uh, learn and discover what the Lord needs to see us doing. What does he require of us as a people? One of the greatest things that I've seen is that when we, ha we were put into this generation, we were given opportunity, we were given power, we are given ability to dominate the world. Whether you read uh, spiritual books, the books of faith, or you, you know, the, the greatest thing that we are given in this generation was to dom is to dominate. But you find that we are people who are living in the generation, but they are people who are dominating and they are people who are dominated. What am I trying to mean? How can you be a person in this kind of generation and you are aging? One day we are 18, you have made it 25, you have made it 30, you are 35, you are made it 40 and above. But when you look in your life physically, there is nothing like a great success. It was recent when I met a certain gentleman who reminded me of the worst things which are happening to different people. A man who is 52 and he is uh, uh, moving with uh, some clothes in his hands. You understand? Moving on the roads, up and down, meeting different people. Please, I'm selling this dress. I'm selling this bra. Five thousand. And I was so concerned to ask him, but how much is your capital? This is when he told me that this capital is around 35,000. And that's all about his life. A man at 52, he's residing at a friend's house. He has a friend who told him, please, I have my house here, but you can use the other small room. Stay there at the age of 55. He has children who grew up and they are big men and women. They can't remember him. Wherever they are. Okay, parents should not put a burden on your children because your children are not, it is not, their, it is not by force that they have to care about you. No. But anyway, in a human mood, every parent would desire to see a good pay, a good reward from their children. It is a great bondage for a parent, for a man to grow up to that level, but without a foundation, without an address. 
It is bondage for a parent to bear children when they grow up. They can't come back to you. Today as I speak, men are wounded in their hearts. Women are heartbroken. Mothers, because your children have grown up, but they can't remember you. You hear them, they're in Kampala. You hear them, they're abroad. They come back here and they kuriasente. Abasama, you hear your son came and uh, is with so and so. You see them on TV, but you can't access them. They can't remember you as their mother. They can't remember you as their father. You sacrificed all your years. You sold your land for their education. But nothing good has come out of them. The same way, I remind everybody, please look at your life and see what's going on. How can you be a person who has worked in a certain office for now 15 years? There is no promotion. There is no salary increment. Even when you work, Every day and now, you work with your heart. There is no appreciation. People who come from behind you are promoted and they go ahead. But you are treated as a doormat. Are you supposed to move? Are you comfortable in that situation? This is what we call bondage. I have my daughter, a certain member of our church, who came last Sunday. And she was tightening her belly and the back with many ropes. She said he f she feels a lot of back pain. And at the time when she's sleeping, she loves when her daughter, three of them come and sit on her back. She has tried the medication, but things are not moving on well. So what am I trying to say? Different things happen to people. They run out of your control. But again, you stay out there. You can't scrutinize the problem. And then so least ways possible how you can solve them. Time has come. Raise, get awake, and we fight that problem so that you can be a better person. Don't allow yourself to stay in that bondage anymore. Father, I thank you today. I know many people are going through a lot of hardships. Some people have strange diseases and they don't know how they are going to do to come out of them. Other people are suffering with losses, they are misfortuned. Whatever thing they put, they, they lay their hands upon, they fail. Some people have failed even when they got big loans. They have tried to raise their capital, but everything has failed. Some people have lost their assets. They have sold their cars, which were making money. They have sold their rental houses because of oppression from wherever they don't know. Some people have got problems in their bodies, in their marriages, in their, uh, in their businesses and wherever. I pray that you bless them today. I break that yoke and I break that chain. If it is witchcraft, I render it powerless. If it is a curse, I command it to leave your way. Any kind of bondage today, I break it. Father, I call upon your mate hand to deliver the people and make them great. Wherever you are, may the hand of God be upon you so that this day will be a better day for you. Father, I thank you because what we pray is done. We go. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much. Have you had anything in my statements that has touched you? It is by the grace of God that today you have heard that. Check your life. On Wednesday, Every Wednesday, I meet people one on one. Please, I welcome you. I'm Pastor Senyo Jovamsbe. You can call me on 0752 229680 or WhatsApp me on 0782 229680. Uh, on Wednesday, I'm in my office from uh, 8 a.m. up to 3 p.m. Every day of the week, Monday to Friday at 5 p.m., come and join us. Plus Sunday at 10 a.m. We are located at Nansanahoima Road. Opposite Nawel Main Road, slope down and you'll find Vamusbe Church. My YouTube channel is Pastor Senyonjo Vamusbe. You read Piara dot Senyonjo Vamusbe. You'll find us, then subscribe. You'll enjoy and learn a lot. Please come and join us. Even uh, on those numbers that you see on the screen, you can support us financially. Send any kind of money from one shilling up to any amount. It will be a great contribution because that's what you can do if you are blessed. Please, I love you so much. 
I encourage you to continue learning here and then enjoying and then putting the words into action. May God bless you. We meet next time.